Hey, I'm Sam Peterson, author of two books, Trunky, Transgender Junkie, and Sugar, A Memoir of Craving. I'm an old gay trans man with bad teeth and I love knives. And I'm not here to rate them or tell you about the newest, the bestest, the fastest, the kabowest. That was violent. I'm here to queerly share my queer love of knives with you. I can subscribe. Bye-bye. In case you missed it, this week I received an interesting addition to my collection, and that is the Vosteed Thunderbird. Not a new knife, but, you know, I'm going to talk about it. Now, Vosteed, Vosteed is a real hit or miss for me. They're either super fantastic, like the raccoon, or the, what is it, the corgi? Yeah. Or they're way out of my comfort zone, like the Nightshade or the RS Chaos, both of whom I really wanted to love but couldn't. They just didn't work for me. Whereas the Raccoon and Corgi were completely opposite in that they were very neutral, very comfortable, perfect size for me. On the other hand, the Nightshade and the RS Chaos were built kind of weird for my physiognomy. The RS Chaos also seemed a little large, maybe, if I remember correctly. I had had purchased the uh, the Thunderbird in uh, full titanium when it came out and immediately had to return it for budgetary reasons. But that's, that all having been said, I really didn't love it. But when I saw it in Ultim and LMAX at White Mountain Knives, for a terrific price, just over $100, I had to have it. Don't ask me. I haven't figured out my impulses yet either. But I did get a new therapist today, so maybe, uh, I don't know, we'll get some insight. So here it is, the Vosteed Thunderbird in LMAX and Ultem, my favorite. It's a kind of a funny looking knife in a shape that I don't have much of this kind of slim and long physique. I like my knives like I like my men. Thick, sharp, and easy to flip. This knife is a weirdo. Uh, it It's so fidgety and accessible though. I, I mean, what's not to love? I love the, the top, the back flip, the flippity flip. The this flip, the bat flip. I mean, it's really, it's great for a fidgety guy like myself. It's got a very interesting uh, blade shape, and it does look sort of like an indigenous Thunderbird. Uh, the website calls it an intermix between a Tanto, Tonto, and a Harpoon. Sure. Okay. Maybe a little gimmicky. I haven't had the opportunity yet to really work this knife, so I don't know how this blade shape impacts its functionality. It's a kind of an unattractive knife. I don't really care for the aesthetics, but the action, obviously, superb. It reminds me very much uh, in build of a Kaiser. Comes out of the box, ready to go, no need to work it out. Uh, or slick up the action. It's super duper smooth. And LMAX is pretty corrosion free, which is uh, great. I live in the steamy south. The humidity is high here, which is great for your skin, by the way, but not so much for metals. So as you may have gathered, I'm rather ambivalent about this blade. It's fun to play with. The price was certainly right, but it's really unattractive to me and makes an unsatisfying thud when flipped. When I want to hear a snap, I want to hear that metal on metal. Um, it's got full liners. It's got for full. It's got full liners vertically, but horizontally they don't meet the edge, which I guess makes the ult, you know the ultim get in the way and have have that sort of thud sound. I don't know what you want to call it. It's a padded snick. That's my professional opinion. It's a padded snick. Anyway, <sighs> too bad. If you want it for 110 bucks, including shipping, let me know. Otherwise,
I thought I'd take a look at some of my other Altem uh, knives that I have now because I've done it before, but it's been a minute uh, since last time, and my collection has undergone undergone some shifts. I was listening to a <laughs> thing I made earlier for work, and I sound drunk. Like, did I have a stroke? And I don't know it. I really. The Arc Form Saber. Let's talk about that. The Arc Form Saber is a brilliant knife. I love this knife so much. It is sublime. The choice of Ultim for this knife actually makes sense. It looks badass and it feels great. It's all chamfered around the edges. Fantastic. It is a terrific blade that I cannot recommend enough. And it is for sale on the Arkham Arcform website. Arkham, that's an insane asylum. Arcform website at 92 for 92.50, a peculiar amount, but go get one if you can. It's just freaking phenomenal. It, it may be a little short. I don't know, for those of you with big man hands, on second thought, it's not a big knife, which may have been its downfall. This is my most recent Ultim knife other than other than the Thunder Pants and that is the Devo Nip Light. It is a little fifth pocket guy that's like many a short knife uh, but it's made by Devo so it's awesome and it has a fantastic choil which allows you to get up there and get a full choked up grip. Huge fan. 154 cm. In backwards order of appearance, there was then the Militaw, a knife I've had several times already. This is absolutely my favorite iteration. It's aluminum and ultim with 154 cm steel, and it feels amazing. What a great knife. This is the best knife that Kaiser has ever made in my humble opinion, and it is also one of my all-time favorite knives. The CJRB Hectare in Altum and S90V with post-production thumb studs is also a great knife. Uh, this era of CJRB, they just can't lose. They are on a hot, hot streak. The Pyrite, the Echo, the Hectare, the Shale, etc., etc., they're all great. They're just fantastic. I've got, I got this one on the secondary market. I haven't carried it much, so I can't really say much about it, but I don't love this uh, locking system. It's a little, feels a little cheap. Uh, that's all I'll say about that. And finally, the QSP Canary. I love the Canary. It is one of the best budget blades, best budget blades ever, ever. It is also a tad short. Its sibling, the uh, Penguin, is a bit larger, which I'm guessing is part of the uh, popularity difference. The Canary's blade um, has more possibilities, I feel, than the uh, Penguin, but it's too short. But damn it, it's crisp. It is so crisp, loves it. And the Ultim has some texturing on it, and that feels, it takes it to another level grip-wise. It's fantastic. When I bitched about the cost of Ultim last week, some of you, and you know who you are, could not wait to point out to me how expensive it is to make. Here's the deal. I like to whine. Don't harsh my bitch, baby. I have observed this pattern of some folks who never comment. They never come by and comment, but they cruise by just to point out where I'm wrong. I see it on other guys' videos, too. They're these guys. They never, like, they, <laughs> they never say, like, oh, I like that knife or this or that. You know, no opinions. Just they point out something that's wrong. I mean, they just live to do that. And um, look, if you're that guy... Go make your own video and stop bothering content creators. For real, though, it, that's it's annoying. But the rest of you, I mean, tell me when I'm wrong. I, 
I love to learn. I, I love it. So, you know, you, you guys that are regulars that hang out, keep it real. I'm all for that. I live for it. I love you. I love Ultim. Here's Janice. Bye. See you later. Ah. Uh.